Hello everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. Today's video is also about depreciation and uh, I've taken out a very challenging question from the past papers and uh, it does have part A which is on capital and revenue expenditure but that's for another video. Uh, we're focusing on part C which is exclusively for depreciation T accounts. Basically the ledger accounts for depreciation which are the three important T accounts non-current asset provision for depreciation and disposal account. Uh, if you guys look at the question, an extract from Jazz's statement of financial position at 31st December 2019 showed the following. It showed cost, it showed accumulated depreciation and showed net book value at the end of 2019, which means these are opening balances for 2020, that is 1st January 2020. Uh, during the year ended 31st December 2020, the following transaction took place. So you guys know that you need to do accounting for 2020 so starting from january 2020 to december 2020 and then they are saying on first january so this is basically opening balance uh, balance brought down for the fixtures and fittings account this is the balance brought down for the provision for depreciation account and then they are saying during the year ended 31st december 2020 the following transactions took place on first january 2020 fixtures thirty thousand dollars were purchased by check so first day of the year they purchased another fixtures then they are saying on 30th june 2020 fixtures were sold for six thousand so basically this is selling price of the fixtures that they are that they are selling basically disposing of then they are saying which was received by check so they received the money by uh, check then they are saying uh, these fixtures had originally been purchased on 1st January 2018 for 20,000. So this is basically the cost of the, those fixtures which you are selling right now. Then they are saying Jazz depreciates fixtures on a straight line basis. She assumes fixtures will have a useful life for four years at which time the residual will be 10% residual value will be 10% of the original cost. Then they are saying depreciation is charged for each part of the year for which the, the fixtures are owned so they mean it's a month by month policy you so you need to take care of the months the month in which the, the non-current asset is sold the month in which the non-current asset new non-current asset is bought and if you look at the details for depreciation we'll come on the depreciation account in a bit but um, i'll discuss that uh, what basically what uh, formulas need to be used over here but first we'll make the fixtures account which is very simple so whenever you're purchasing fixtures so whenever assets increase you record that on the debit side whenever assets decrease then you record that on the credit side so when you're buying new fixtures what you'll do is you'll record here first january 2020 and then you'll write here bank because you are buying new fixtures paying by check and then i'll highlight this for you uh this is what is being recorded and then you write here thirty thousand, which is the cost price of the new fixtures then on the credit side what you have to do is that you record this uh, so you record the disposal of fixtures and I've always told you guys this account is the cost account. So every value in this account is is cost. So you write here disposal and you write the original cost of that asset which you have disposed of that is 20,000 and you write the date of disposal over here 30th June 2020. Now simply you need to calculate the balance carry down. There is one fixture that has been bought. There is one fixture that has been sold. So you calculate balance carried down over here. You write balance carried down. You do debit total of debit side is one one forty five thousand. Total of credit side is twenty thousand. So what you do is this is one for uh, basically one twenty five thousand which is left. So cost of fixtures at the end of the year is one twenty five thousand. This will be thirty first December. 2020 and then this total of this account will be 145,000 on both sides and then you bring down the balance of course you need to do that because that's part of the requirement balance brought down will be 125,000 and you write here first January 2021. Okay, then you have you need to make the depreciation account. So I'll just change the color for the calculations for depreciation. So this is very, very important. One is you need to calculate income statement. So that will be the depreciation of the current year. assets okay? um, Other thing is that you need to calculate the total depreciation of that asset which you have disposed of. 
ठीक है सो दीज आर टू इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स द टू इम्पॉर्टेंट कैलकुलेशन फॉर द प्रोविजन फॉर डिप्रिसिएशन अकाउंट सो नाउ वॉट यू डू हियर इज दैट दे हैव टोल्ड यू ओवर हियर if you uh if you just have a look at this basically so jazz depreciates uh fixtures on a straight line basis she assumes fixtures will have a useful life of 4 years at which time the residual value will be 10% of the original cost so iski sirf iski sirf details padhne se mujhe pata chal raha hai ki the formula that is being over used that the over the formula that needs to be used over here will be a uh, cost minus uh residual value divided by life that's the straight line method formula there are two formulas for straight line method one is cost multiplied by percentage when percentage is given but when they have given you these details you need to do cost minus residual value divided by life so what you do here is that you have basically you have one set of fixtures at the start of the year jiski cost hai 115000 now isme se aapke isko basically aap divide karenge iske andar 95000 ke assets hain jisko aap full year ke liye use kar rahe hain and then from these there is a set of assets that is 20000 the cost of which is 20000 and you're using it for half year because half year ke baad aap usko bech rahe hain ठीक है सो वॉट यू विल डू इज दैट एक तो नाइन्टी फाइव थाउजेंड पे फुल ईयर्स की लगानी पड़ेगी ट्वेंटी वन थाउजेंड वाले पे आपको हाफ ईयर की लगानी पड़ेगी और एक सेट ऑफ फिक्सचर्स जो आपने नए खरीदे हैं वो थर्टी थाउजेंड के इस पे भी आपको फुल ईयर की लगानी पड़ेगी बिकॉज यू परचेज दिस ऑन द फर्स्ट डे ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सो नाउ वॉट यू डू हियर इज दैट यू डू नाइन्टी फाइव थाउजेंड दैट इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ द एसेट माइनस रेजिडुअल वैल्यू इज टेन परसेंट सो नाइन्टी फाइव हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई फोर which is going to give you 21375 that is the depreciation for the assets that are 95000 ke 20000 wale jo hain unko hum 6 months ke liye depreciate karenge to hum phir karenge 20000 minus 2000 which is 10% of the cost that that is the residual value divided by 4 so you get over here 4500 Then you multiply it by six and divide it by twelve. Basically, half years depreciation will be given. So, it will be two two five zero. Okay. This is for basically I am trying to calculate the value of income statement over here. Income statement ki ek value hoti hai in the provision for depreciation account. Then for uh, the new asset that you have purchased, so you do thirty thousand basically new set of fixtures minus three thousand. Divided by four, and here you will get six seven five zero. That is the full year's depreciation for the new asset. Now what you do is, you have income statement ki values mil gaye. You have here written income statement. So income statement basically you are charging depreciation for the current year. There are three set of values. One is twenty one three seventy five. The other is two two five zero for the same income statement. And again, income statement ke liye ek aur value hai six seven five zero. ठीक है दिस इज फॉर इनकम स्टेटमेंट नाउ हियर आई नीड टू राइट डिस्पोजल सो फॉर डिस्पोजल वॉट आई नीड टू डू इज दैट आई नीड टू कैलकुलेट बेसिकली द टोटल डिप्रिसिएशन ऑन दैट एसेट विच आई हैव डिस्पोज ऑफ ठीक है तो ये एसेट मैंने कब खरीदा था दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेरी सुपर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मी कि मैंने मैंने ये एसेट कब खरीदा था मैंने ये एसेट खरीदा था फर्स्ट जनवरी ट्वेंटी एटीन तो इसका मतलब ये माय फाइनेंशियल ईयर इज बेसिकली स्टार्टिंग इन जनवरी एंडिंग इन दिसंबर एंड इफ आई हैव हैड परचेज समथिंग इन 2018 सो 2018 मैंने फुल ईयर डिप्रिसिएशन लगाई होगी 2019 मैंने फुल ईयर डिप्रिसिएशन लगाई है और 2020 में मैंने मिड ईयर में उसको बेच दिया है तो इसका मतलब 2.5 पॉइंट ईयर्स की डिप्रिसिएशन इज द टोटल डिप्रिसिएशन ऑफ द एसेट विच आई हैव डिस्पोज ऑफ सो इफ ईयरली डिप्रिसिएशन सो बेसिकली दिस थिंग ओवर ईयर आई जस्ट हाईलाइट इट फॉर यू गाइज This thing was for year, right? एक year की फोर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड थी तो हम यहाँ पे करेंगे फॉर अक्यूमुलेटेड डिप्रिसिएशन ऑफ द एसेट विच आई हैव डिस्पोज ऑफ आई एल सिंपली डू फोर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड फोर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड वॉज फॉर ट्वेंटी एटीन प्लस फोर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड दैट इज फॉर ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन प्लस टू टू फाइव जीरो विच आई जस्ट चार्ज ऑन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी दैट इज Uh, two to five zero. That is the half year depreciation. Then what I do is that I add all of the three. So its answer is that eleven thousand one. Um, basically, um, its answer is that eleven thousand one hundred and thirty-five. 
11,250. So I write here 11,250 as my disposal value. So the date will be 30th June because I 30th June could dispose of Karim. And the year will be 2020 because 2020 kill accounting karne. And now what we are left with is uh, simply the balance carried down that needs to be calculated. So balance carried down always, I have always taught you guys that uh, total of heavy side minus total of light side. So total of heavy side over here is the credit side. So um, the balance carried down comes out to be 96,750. And then you total this account. So basically the total of this T account is 10800. And this balance carried down will of course be on 31st December. 2020 the income statement value is always on 31st december 2020 because you normally make it on 31st december 2020 and then uh yes this side also will be 10800 and then you make the balance carried down your balance brought down so you write here balance brought down you write 96 750 and you write here first january 2021 so provisions are a contra asset account contra asset account pay opposite rules lagte hain jo asset ke rules hote hain uske opposite rules jo hote hain wo contra asset pe hote hain uh, jo balance brought down asset ke liye hota hai debit pe hota hai to balance brought down for provisions is always on the credit side okay the last thing uh, over here is the easiest that is the disposal account so what you need to do is that first there are four double entries for disposal very very important super important number one is that because the asset is going out of the business, you need to credit the asset, which we did. We have fixtures account mein credit for disposal. So, in the disposal ke account, you have debit for fixtures. So, you have double entry. Puri ho jayegi, this will be 20,000. And this will be also be date of disposal 30th June 2020. Okay, so provision for depreciation because you have disposal so now you have to remove karna padega, total depreciation from your accounting records. So what you do is that you do provision for depreciation debit, disposal credit. So I have provision for depreciation and disposal debit side. Pe diya. So I will write provision for depreciation likh dungi on my credit side. I like using short forms but avoid using short forms in, like in your exam unless you are very very uh, like short of time. But uh, yes. Uh, so you write over here uh, 11,250 that's the accumulated depreciation now the third thing is so the third double entry is that you record the selling price whatever you have received in money so here we have received a check of 6,000 when we sold off this asset so this is this bit of information is basically being recorded over here so bank debit disposal credit so I'll, I'll write here uh, bank basically so in the bank account we'll write disposal on the debit side in the disposal account you'll write bank on the credit side and this will be uh, 6000 now this account will not balance so of course you'll use the income statement to basically balance this account and income statement over here will be the difference of both the sides and that will be basically that will be 20,000 minus 11,250 minus 6,000 gives me 2,750 and then this account will balance at 20,000. So the last thing is that you guys should know that profit on loss on disposal how do you actually calculate that how do you figure that out so basically you compare net book value with selling price so when net book value is greater than selling price that is a loss because we expected a much higher value when we are selling the asset but we we found we found out that we are, we are going to receive a lower value so if net book value is greater than selling price that's a loss so net book value in this case will be 20,000 minus 11,250 which is um 8750 8750 is the net book value now what happened we got 6000 so 6000 is what we received for selling the asset so that means 2750 is your loss in this case so net book value was 8750 
और नेटबुक वैल्यू का फॉर्मूला क्या होता है कॉस्ट माइनस अक्यूमुलेटेड डेप्रिसिएशन सो दिस इज योर नेटबुक वैल्यू एंड द सेलिंग प्राइस इज ऑफ कोर्स सिक्स थाउजेंड सो टू सेवन फाइव जीरो का हमें लॉस हो गया लॉस ऑन डिस्पोजल इज एन एक्सपेंस इनकम स्टेटमेंट इज डेबिटेड बिकॉज ऑफ इट डिस्पोजल अकाउंट इज क्रेडिटेड इसलिए हमने यहाँ पे डिस्पोजल में क्रेडिट साइड पर लिखा है इनकम स्टेटमेंट और बेसिकली हम एक्सपेंस सेक्शन में इन द इनकम स्टेटमेंट वील इंक्लूड लॉस ऑन डिस्पोजल सो थैंक यू गाइज थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग होप दिस वीडियो हेल्प्स यू